it's Memorial Day weekend and it is a wet and rainy one. Well, I've got a little bit of a problem. I've got so many ferns in my garden and I didn't document what I was putting in. So I've got a few ferns, I'm not sure what they are. So from now on, I'm gonna document what everything is. This is Ethereum Neponicum, a Japanese painted fern. And it's been all smashed to the ground by my stupid chickens. I try to keep them out of the garden, but there's no keeping them out. They come in here. This is Arachnoides simpliciter, variegata. And this is a small specimen, so it's not real evident, but there is kind of a yellow glow that emanates from the middle of the leaflets down the length of each rachis. Over here, this is Dryopteris erythrosora, autumn brilliance fern. Kind of a plain Jane looking fern, but I like it. I really like ferns. This one is a Matusha Pennsylvanica. I put this in last year and these are popping up all over the place. I don't know what this one is. It looks like a Matusha, but the leaflets are serrated. They're not smooth and rounded. So I don't know what it is. Interesting. I believe this little guy is Dryopteris lapidopoda, but I don't know for sure. It's languishing. It seems to be dying off more than it's growing. This is Blechnum spicant. This is a deer fern. These occur, um, they're native here in the Pacific Northwest, although I don't have any native to my property. So these are confused with Western sword fern, Polystichum unitum sometimes, but they're pretty easy to distinguish up close. If you look at where the leaflets attach to the rachis, that's the, the shaft that runs the length of the frond, um, the whole entire width of the leaflet attaches. I know that's kind of confusing the way I describe that, but if you look at the Polystichum unitum, the Western sword fern, each leaflet is separated by a stem, so it's not attached across the entire width. So the Blechnum spicant has a more fat and chunky appearance. Okay. Ethereum autoforum, auriculate lady fern. I have no idea what auriculate means. I should probably look that up. It's another kind of a plain looking fern, but I like it. I really like ferns. Well, I hope you have a good Memorial Day. The sun's supposed to come out here in a little bit. Sure hope it does, because I could use some sunshine.